Hey guys, Tony Sakara with Tony Sakara at Tampa Real Estate.com, Tiger Realty. And you know, this market is hot, let's face it. House comes on the market and it's pending within three or four days and it's sold. So I want to share with you some strategies that you can use to win in today's market. So there are seven buying strategies to use in, in today's competitive market, right? So the first thing you guys should know is that by entering in today's seller's market, this means that you're not likely to get a deal or get any kind of discounts. You know, even houses that uh, need work, you're gonna wind up putting in the full asking offer. But here are some strategies to use in today's competitive market. Number one, get a mortgage pre-approval. While there are various methods sellers use to snag homes today uh, in this rapid market, one is to be prepared and make sure you have a price range of what you can afford. Right? You don't want to go into looking for houses, make an offer, and then realize you can't afford it. So get that pre-approval letter. Number two, look for homes that are within your budget so you can bid up. You don't want to bid for homes or shop for homes that are over your budget. So many times I see uh, clients that they're at a certain budget and they're shopping for homes that are way above their market. So when they go to bid, they don't get approved because their lender you know, says that, hey, you are pre-approved for one, one, one amount and you are looking for others. So try to stay within under your budget so then you can bid up and win those, those listings. Number three, if you're borrowing money, make sure you give yourself some time. And what I mean by that is sometimes you have to borrow some money from a family, a friend, and the bank was gonna look for some type of uh, background on where you got that. So make sure that you can get a letter from a friend saying that you don't have to pay this back because these banks look for that kind of stuff. If money appears out of nowhere, they're gonna be asking you questions and saying, hey, where'd this money come from? Number four, get the best real estate agent possible. Now, I know you don't wanna hire just any agent. Um, we're all different. Uh, we all have our strengths, we all have our opportunities. But um, do yourself a favor and ask them specific questions, like how familiar are you with the neighborhood? Um, what access do you have to off-market properties? or what access do you have of any problems that are coming on the market? Um, what are the most challenging deals you've ever come with? So ask them specific questions to make you feel more comfortable with using them as your realtor. And number five, don't fall in love with just one house, but don't give up. You know, be persistent. There are many houses that are gonna come on the market, they're gonna come through your, through your, through your email, and you're gonna see a ton of homes, and you're gonna be disappointed because you will be outbid. But don't give up. If you want that house, make the offer that you want and you feel comfortable with. Don't go crazy. And number seven, just expand your search. Be prepared, look at areas that you haven't even noticed before. Compare, to, compare it to areas that you liked, such as local shopping, businesses near, near the area, public transportation. Just be prepared to look outside of the areas that you're looking at. So again, this is Tony Sicaro with Tony Sicaro at Tampa Real Estate.com, Tiger Realty. This is a hot market and it is crazy. So just be prepared and do what you gotta do to make those offers on those homes. We'll talk to you later. Please subscribe if you want any future market updates or anything. Give me a call. I'll check you later. Have a great day.